this video has got nothing to do with cars. Uh, when my mother was diagnosed with terminal cancer earlier this year, I thought I'd better um, clear my father's garage out. And one of the things I found in there was this vice. Now my father was a welder and it was all heavy stuff that he used to do. And this is a number 25, a record number 25. And I was able to buy some new jaws for it. And I bought some paint, which is the right color. So this video is going to be about me reconditioning this vice. I also found this little vice. Um, I haven't really gone on the internet. It actually says maples on there. It's quite a little handy little vice because you can clamp it anywhere you want. Um, so I probably will do that later. I also found this. It goes back to the days when my parents had a coal fire and my father made this poker. This brings back lots of memories. So that's going to be reconditioned as well in the future sometime. So this is 180 grit. I don't want to use uh, 80 grit on here because it will score it too much. Not that it really matters, but you know it, it does. The bearing does go in here, or it, this is the bearing surface. So. so now I've got all the dirt off and uh, degreased it. It's quite good. It's good condition. Um, from here back. Obviously it's been protected by the oil and the grease that's been put on it over the years. But it's been standing in my father's garage, which was a very damp garage. It's been standing there for 12 years, not been used once. So that's why this has all gone rusty like this. So I'm not going to rub this down, I'm going to use this product. Now I did a review of this. So if, if you look in my past videos, you'll see a video review of this product. If I've got enough, to cover this, um, I'm going to use this and leave it in for a couple of days and uh, see how it comes out and then it'll be easier to kind of polish this up I think. I don't know until I try it. Well I found this old Tupperware box, seems about the right size to put it in like that. So I'm just going to put that on there like that and pour all this solution in. Mm, not very good. <laughs> I need a long, thin box. That's what I'm looking for, really. Well, this is in the way. I think I'm going to move it. So since I made that, that uh, video about this, I've realised I went on their website and I realised they actually do a gel. And there's a guy on there, there's a video on their website, and there's a guy... Um, de-rusting something big and he said you can put the gel on and then wrap it in cling film so that's what I need here really but I didn't get the gel so I just got hold of this turned it upside down to see if I can get it into the cleaning tank I looked in there and there's brazing in there it's very interesting I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and get a nice view in there it's been done in a factory I think it's too neat, really. I'm sure it's been done in the factory. So I think what it is, it's just the bottom bit there is raised and they sprayed it or painted it with gold paint around this around this area. That's that's painted because I'm scratching it there and that, that's cast iron. So. 
yeah, and there's also a hole there, and that's been plugged with braze. It looks like braze, but when I go onto the outside, there's no traces of it at all. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean it properly and then have another look. So that was a new 80 grit paper. I've finished wire brushing and sanding this. It's all nice and clean. Uh, I've just put it together with the new jaws, just to see. And it's been battered about over the years. This is really dented and bruised all around here. And, and along here, someone has been cutting something with a hacksaw and actually gone in into that jaw there so what i thought of doing was taking these out and going over with an angle grinder and smooth all this down doesn't matter because these two faces don't do anything um, and the ends the ends are all, all horrible and i will just bring that up uh, better and then put some undercoat on and then paint the whole lot Right, that's all horrible and rough. Now I'm going to try a flap wheel. These are quite good. Right, let's have a go. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. So I've just done half with the flat wheel and that feels all right. And this is the grinding wheel. So all I've got to do now is go along here, tidy this, this corner up here, do the ends and do the same on the other jaw. And then it should be ready for painting. So the other half is all done with the epoxy primer. Now I'm going to do this half and I've got to do something about this here. That's that cut there. Someone's done that with a hacksaw. So I could braise it, um, but I'd have to get the whole lot really, really hot and really I haven't got anything to do that. So all I'm going to do is fill it with body filler and just disguise that. Um, it won't break because the distance from the slot to there is quite big. So if it was here, maybe it, it would break when you clamp something on this area. But uh, at the moment, that, that, that's fine.
So that's all done, ready for the primer now. So I'm trying this paint on the inside first to see how it covers and I'm very very surprised. This is like old fashioned paint, it really covers well, it's nice and thick. I've never used this paint before, um, it's the correct colour for these record vices and the colour is Roundel Blue semi-gloss you can get this in gloss but i thought i've never really seen a vice that's got a glossy finish from the factory they're always um, semi-gloss or matte you can get this in matte semi-gloss or gloss um, and i've seen them use this on the tv as well um, and i think there's a couple of companies that produce it and it's just like old-fashioned paint which really covers nicely it's oil based and I'm using this tiny little brush to get into all the little crevices but I I really enjoy painting and I like painting with a small brush I get more pleasure you know there's a lot of people out there probably people watching this thinking how can you get pleasure from painting because some people absolutely hate painting but when it goes well like this it, it, I, it's so satisfying um, I'm putting it on quite thick it's not running so far when I get to the the outside it's more smoother but it might run then but here with the rough finish of the casting it's really nice very pleased with that the blue does look a bit bright compared compared to this this old old vice, um, but it might it might dry a slightly different colour. I'm not too sure, but it doesn't really matter. But look at look at the gloss on there. That is really nice. It's absolute pleasure to use that paint. When I finished editing this video, it turned out to be 26 minutes long. Well, that's too long really for, for a YouTube video. So I decided to chop it in half and make part one and part two. So thank you for watching and remember to like, comment and subscribe and look on my other videos for part two.